Welcome to the project. This project has four different modes. Uh, each mode has a different functionality. You could control the modes using the infrared remote. Uh, in this video, I'll explain what each mode does. Mode number one uses the ultrasonic sensor to detect objects in front of it and displays three pieces of information on the LCD screen. The first is the distance in centimeters. The second is the status of the object in front of it, meaning is it stationary, is it coming, is it going? And the third piece of information is the speed of the object in kilometers per hour. So if the object is stationary, there is no speed, but if it's coming or if it's going, it displays the speed in kilometers per hour. To activate mode one, you use the infrared remote, you press on number one, and that activates mode number one. Now, as you move your hand in front, it shows you your distance in centimeters. It shows that I'm three centimeters away and I'm stationary. As I move, it shows that I move and it shows my speed and it shows that I'm going or coming. You see, going, and it shows your speed. And if you go right in front of it, it shows that you're stationary and it shows your distance. And as you move, it says you're going a speed and stationary again. Mode two also uses the ultrasonic sensor and it's like a parking sensor in your car. So if you're far away from the sensor, the green light will turn on and there will be no buzz or beep. And on the LCD screen, it will display far. As you get closer, the orange light will turn on and the buzzer will start buzzing, but not very quick. And on the LCD screen, it will display medium. As you get closer, the red light will turn on, the buzzer will get even quicker, and the LCD screen will say close. To activate mode two, you take your infrared remote, you press on number two. And as you can see, because I'm standing far away, the green light turned on. As we'll get closer, we'll see that the yellow light turned on and it started buzzing. As we get even closer, the red light turned on and it's buzzing very quickly and the LCD screen is showing close. The third mode uses a photoresistor, which is a sensor that could detect how much light is in the room. As the light in the room gets brighter, the green light, the green LED will turn dimmer. As the light in the room gets dimmer, the LED light will turn brighter. Now this is the green light. The red light will only turn on when the value of light is less than 300 in the room. So the maximum is 1023, but when it gets under 300, then the red light will turn on. The LCD screen displays two pieces of information. The top row shows how much light is in the room. Right now, it's on 500, 501, out of 1,023. When that goes beneath 300, the red LED will turn on. The bottom light, the bottom row, shows the PWM of the green, meaning how bright is the green light. Right now it's on 130. This is out of a value of 255. As the brightness in the room goes down, the PWM value will go up. Okay, so let's demonstrate. To turn on mode three, we take the remote control again. Hit three. Ah, and you could see the green light turned on. Let's check our values. Yeah, we have a light value of around 500 and a PWM of around 130, similar to before. Okay, let's shut off the light in the room and see what happens. Great, the red light turned on. Let's check our values. Okay, the light in the room is around 104, 105, which is way under 300. That's why the red light turned on. And our PWM is 230. 
So the green light is very bright. It's 230 out of 255, and that's exactly what we expected. Let's turn the light back on. And great, the, the red light turned off and also the green light became less bright. For mode four, we're gonna use a sound sensor. This sound sensor is gonna toggle the LEDs. So when it hears a sound, a loud sound, it will turn on the LEDs, and when it hears a loud sound again, it will shut them off. Okay, let's try this. So we'll take the remote, we'll hit number four. Great, now let's make a loud sound. See, it turns them on, shuts them off, turns them on, shuts them off. Okay, now in the description, I explain how you could change the screw and turn it around to change the sensitivity of the sound sensor. So you can just play around with that till you reach a value that you're happy with.